of the pandemic, the only way to get tested for COVID-19 was to go through a drive through site. Now we're seeing more and more at home testing options that we can easily get our hands on. But can we trust the results? That's our question our Verify team answers for us today. Demand for COVID-19 tests remains high and manufacturers are trying to make it easier for people to get tested. At-home tests are one alternative that's gaining traction, but one Verify viewer texted us to ask if they're just as good as getting one done at a test site. So let's verify. Are at-home rapid COVID-19 tests as accurate as rapid tests done on site? Our sources are the FDA, the CDC, Nebraska Medicine, three at-home test manufacturers, and Dr. Sarah Lynn Mark with the American Medical Women's Association. First, you should know there are two types of at-home tests. One is a PCR, which requires you to take a sample, mail it in, and wait a few days. The other is an antigen or rapid test because it gives you results in about 15 minutes and is what we're focusing on today. Early in the pandemic, rapid tests got a bad rap, but doctors say they are much more accurate today and are still improving. Over time, these rapid tests have become a lot more accurate. They're certainly easy to do and the results can be returned relatively quickly. Antigen tests collect a sample with a nasal swab or saliva to detect the presence of COVID-19's viral nucleic acid. Studies submitted to the FDA show home tests, when administered correctly, are about 85% accurate at detecting positive cases and around 98% accurate at detecting negative cases. Generally, they work best at detecting COVID-19 in people who are already symptomatic. That's similar to what a CDC study found when it looked into antigen tests administered by professionals. So it's true. At home, COVID-19 rapid tests are as effective as rapid tests done on site when administered correctly. The important point here is the test will only be as good as you obtain the samples. Regardless of how you collect an antigen sample, Nebraska Medicine says the tests are not perfect and encourages people to check with their doctor to see if the results need to be confirmed with a more accurate PCR test. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. And if you see a claim that you have questions about, you can send it to us on social media or you can email it to us at verify at whas11.com.